Is Bitcoin going to see another flush to $60,000? What about Ethereum? Does it have any possibilities of going back to over $6,000 in the near future? This is what we're going to be talking in today's video. So stay tuned. Welcome everyone to another video. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. This video, I already recorded it yesterday. I opened the positions already yesterday, but I'm having to record it again because the file was corrupted. It didn't record the webcam and then the screen that it recorded, it did not have any audio. So you're going to see positions that I already opened, but I opened those yesterday in the video that was supposed to come out today, but now I have to redo everything. So this video could be a little quicker than what you're used to mainly because we're going to rush through the articles you can see these articles uh, by yourself later on but i'm going to show you the positions that i open the articles and what do they say uh, do some technical analysis on bitcoin and ethereum and then i'll show you my positions so let's start from the beginning all right so regarding bitcoin which is right now is exactly a sixty-nine thousand dollars. we are seeing a few people believing that bitcoin could go back to the low 60s and even touch the 50s again and we're going to understand why they're saying this and what is the reasoning behind that so last week we had a huge dip in bitcoin's price and a lot of people had different theories on what it was about we had uh the israel palestine fight we had the tether situation that later on was uh fine so nothing actually happened with the tether situation and actually the open interest situation which is the reason that i agreed the most because it makes more sense so the open interest was the lowest day-to-day uh, -day. so one day difference in open interest for bitcoin since august 5th if you remember if you were here in this channel since august 5th you remember august 5th we saw a huge dip in bitcoin price or in crypto as a whole even in the uh markets uh, overall markets because it was that carry trade that was happening in japan so that one caused a lot of panic all around and you can see from this image the uh, one day change for the futures uh, of bitcoin changed a lot which we can go back all the way to august 5th to see something similar to that so huge and scary days but so far we're not at a bottom uh, of liquidity and open interest that reminds us of bitcoin at fifty nine thousand dollars so maybe we have a bright future ahead from that but again there's a lot of people who are scared that we're going to get liquidated all the way to the 60s and this is the second part of the article right here that if we look to the uh, bitcoin liquidation heat map in a month you can see that there's more uh, bids right here pending towards the sixty-one thousand dollars. and as i said before the brighter the color is right here it means that it acts as a magnet that pushes down the price or up the price of bitcoin so if we are indeed gonna touch the sixty-one thousand, we don't know uh, where that liquidation uh, will bring us. If it's going to bring us to 60K, which is a fairly strong support, or we're going to fall again below the 60s. So that's something uh, a little bit scary, but we can only predict that if we're going to get there or not by looking at the next weeks and how the bid situation and the ask situation evolves throughout the weeks. So that being said, because of the uh, Bitcoin situation going up all the way to now $69,000, we are seeing uh, all the other altcoins uh, meme coins performing very, very well. So Solana, Doge, uh, Rune, BGB, even L2s are performing very, very good. And this is mainly because of Bitcoin doing very, very well. As long as it keeps above the $66,000, it still has that green uh, and bullish momentum. So for Bitcoin, we have that downtrend uh, line that you see up there, which also reflects on the RSI. You can trace it also on the RSI. But I believe that this will not be hard to break. Actually, by the time I'm looking at this, it already broke because we are already above the uh, downtrend line. We are at $69,000 right now. So if it holds in the four hour charts and the one day charts, then this trend line is broken. So we're not going to see that again. It's going to hold up as support now instead of being a resistance. And regarding Ethereum, we also have positive news for Ethereum. Uh, maybe not for Q4 right now, as I said before, Q4 is usually not that good for Ethereum, but Q1 of next year usually tends to be good, good months for Ethereum. And I think that also shows on the uh, technical analysis right here, as you're going to see right now. So here we have an uptrend channel that 
has been tested a lot of times since 2022 and it has been holding strong and it also pairs with the RSI support that you see above right here and these two factors could mean that right now Ethereum is going to test again the support again what you're looking at is Ethereum USD and then we're going to also look at Ethereum dollar to see how it compare and how it also shows the same things that we're seeing similar banners that we're seeing here uh, in Ethereum USD to Ethereum Bitcoin. So if we indeed keep going and keep using uh, following this channel right here, we should see a bottoming out right now or in the following months and then starting to grow up almost towards the $6,000, if not to the $6,000. So this is the speculation that a lot of traders have, including myself, because as I've been saying in this channel for a lot of times, Q1 is usually the best quarter for Ethereum. Meanwhile, Q4 is the best quarter for Bitcoin. So Q4 is going to be stronger for Bitcoin and then it's going to slow down for Bitcoin and catch up for Ethereum. And here we go. If we look at Ethereum Bitcoin, you can see that we have an uptrend uh, line that acts as a strong support, a very strong support right here. And you can see that we have usually a uh, tiny movement followed by another big, big movement. And here again, a smaller movement followed by a bigger movement. And here we should see again a smaller movement followed by a correction and another big, big movement. And this is across months, if even not years. So we have to be prepared to an uptrend, a correction, and then another uptrend in the following years. This is not months, this is years. But again, you can see that the RSI is still confirming these places right here to be places of uh, bottoming out. So bullish for Ethereum, not maybe by December, January, but after January, we should see Ethereum going uh, very, very well. That being said, this is why I have the long positions, the leaps for both Ethereum and Bitcoin by the end of next year. That way we have a lot of time for Bitcoin to move now and Ethereum to move later on and close both positions in profit. So I looked at both Bitcoin and Ethereum liquidation heat map for the week. So I filtered right here for a week. And actually yesterday I saw the $69,000 and the 20 2600 uh, were the spots for both of these coins. So what I did, I actually sold puts for both of them this week. So yesterday I sold them for all the way to November 1st, which is going to be Friday. So you can see that just yesterday or this morning, we already touched the first liquidation at 69,000, 68 and 9. And now we're looking at even higher spots right here. We will have to wait and see what is the current price that Bitcoin will go. But again, if we look at the Bollinger, we still have a lot of strength to go up all the way to the $71,000, which is the top of the Bollinger. And for Ethereum, things are also looking at we're going to be getting closer to the uh, 2600 right here to get that liquidation point that I mentioned before. So for both of them, I sold puts and you can actually see that right here. They're both in the green right now, 0.6 and 0.7% on both of them. For Bitcoin, I went with a 65,000 strike and for Ethereum, with the 2350 strike. Both of them are puts. So if they keep steady or go up, I'm going to make money because these options will expire worthless and I'll get to keep all the premium. So if you remember last week, least we had a loss of hundred dollars, 110 overall on that week. So these two right here with the premiums that I made are going to be able to uh, start patching up the hold that we get from last week. So this will be the video a little bit shorter than I wanted it to be. But again, the other one was very, very good. I spent a lot of time showing you everything but unfortunately the files got corrupted and there was no audio on the only file that I could recover so sorry about that but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another video so thank you very much I'll catch you guys then peace